Hey guys, it's Asha. So today I'm doing my question and answer video for you guys. You guys left me so many amazing questions and I'm so excited to answer them for you. Some of you guys left some really creative ones, so I'm really excited to get to them. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to answer them all because there were a lot and also there were a lot of repeats. But hopefully I'll get to majority of them and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So let's get started. Probably The Adventures of Pokeberry Finn. I had to read that in um, 11th grade. Oh, I don't know why, but I hated that book. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I would say the main person who influences me is definitely just everyone on booktube. How everyone gets so excited about it and how everyone just loves reading. It definitely motivates me to keep reading and makes me want to like read so I can be able to talk about books with you guys. So definitely you guys are the ones who influenced me as reading. Favorite that I have read, The Notebook. Oh my gosh, I love the book, but the movie was just so much better. This movie was fantastic. Favorite book that I haven't read is No Country for Old Men. I love this movie, one of my all-time favorites, and I don't think I'm ever gonna read the book just because this movie was just fantastic and I don't wanna read it to ruin anything. I would definitely kill Nader from this book. He's the bully in this book. I would love it if something were to happen to him in this book. So I'm really looking forward to The Giver. This is one of my favorite books ever and they're making it into a movie and I'm so excited. And I'm also looking forward to Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I haven't read the book, but I do want to read it, but I'm mainly just really excited because Ben Affleck is in it and he's one of my favorite people of all time, so I'm so, so excited to see that just, just for him, purely for Ben Affleck. Let's see, this one's hard because, um, I don't know, I, I haven't read a lot of books by like one female author in particular, but I really do love Margaret Atwood. She wrote The Handmaid's Tale and I loved that book, loved it. So I do, I should read more by her. So if I had to pick one female author, I would pick her. It has a lot of feminine issues it deals with in that book and it's really powerful. So I, really, I suggest that book, but I would say she's probably one of my favorite female authors. So I wouldn't say I necessarily have a favorite genre that I always read, but I do love science fiction. And um, yeah, lately I've been reading a lot of more like fantasy, magical, paranormal type books. But when I was younger, um, like my early teens, I read a lot of contemporary and I read a lot of adult books, adult contemporary books. So I'm trying to get back into that and find some more good um, adult contemporary books. So if you have any good recommendations, let me know. So this one's tricky because lately the books I've been reading have been young adult and those boys are usually a lot younger than me. So I feel kind of weird if I have a crush on them. But um, a book, one of my favorite books is Weathering Heights and I had the biggest crush on Heathcliff. I just thought he was so, I don't know, just so dark and mysterious and I, I just loved him. So I would definitely, I'll take him as my boyfriend. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that Heath Ledger, the actor, is named after Heathcliff from Weathering Heights? <gasps> Interesting, right? Definitely Harry Potter world. Like, hands down, travel to Harry Potter and be a witch and be best friends with Harry. I mean, yeah. Okay, so I've been watching a lot of these um, videos and there's like some goals coming out, but nothing that I'm like super excited for, except for the third book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. I'm really excited. I haven't even read Never Fade yet, and I'm so excited for the release, especially for the title. I'm excited just to see the title of the book. Okay, so the first so the first video that I ever watched was a haul by Reagan at Peru's Project. I don't remember which haul it was, but I remember that was definitely the first one, and then I think I watched like all of her videos. <laughs> And then I went and found other people, but she was definitely the first booktuber I ever watched. Okay, so this one was a book that I had to read for school, I think in 10th grade. It's called Saturday by Ian McEwan. And this book is about this big, the font's really small, and um, it's a contemporary book. Basically just about, it takes place just one Saturday about this guy contemplating about life, walking around his house, walking around the town thinking about life and how terrible it is, but all these crazy things happen to him. And Ian McEwan's writing style, it is really hard to kind of digest. He writes very poetically and this book, he's thinking so much about life, you're kind of like, uh, I don't know, like, whoa, 
whoa. Like there's, he had long scenes. Like I remember this one scene, he's staring at a teapot, right? On his kitchen table and it's like cracked and the light is shining on it. And it's like reminding him about something about life. He goes on and on and on about how this teapot like represents this. And it's just like, um, okay. Like take it back a little bit. Yeah, that book was, was pretty hard to read and everyone in class is just like way over our heads but when you finally finished it I actually actually really enjoyed it so yeah I did finish it and I actually liked it I think I ended up giving I actually just uh, re-looked it up the author and I just put my rating on Goodread but I gave it four stars um, yeah it's actually a pretty good book once I got through it so my favorite classic is Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte I love that book it's just the characters are so crazy <laughs> and it's so dark but I don't know I just love it I loved it I loved it I loved it I loved it most recently the character that I've identified with has been Seth from more than this uh, by Patrick Ness and mainly just because of his outlook on life how he just felt like uh, there's more out there than what he's doing now and like I don't wanna, I don't really know I don't want to give anything away but his outlook on life is kind of kind of how I feel sometimes, you know, like, are you really doing what you want to do? Like, you do kind of feel like there's something more out there. Sometimes you feel kind of stuck in what's going on, you know, in life. 1984 by George Orwell. I have been wanting to read this book for the longest time, but books, other books keep getting in the way of my freshman year and I'm a senior now. So I've had this book for like four years. I need to get on it because everyone who reads this book loves it. And look at, look at Mr. George Orwell. Huh. Yeah, I really need to read this book. This one. I need to make you a priority, Mr. Orwell. So Life of Pi by Dan Martell definitely changed the way I thought about things. If you've read this book, you know that the main character in here, Pi, is both is Christian, Muslim, and Hindu. And I don't know, you know, theoretically that's like really possible, but it really opened my eyes to how religion is definitely a more personal you know, thing, and it's, it's not supposed to be this huge public, I don't know how to explain it, but this book just really opened my eyes to that, because I read this book mm, in between sophomore and junior year of high school, so yeah, I was, you know, you're trying to figure out, like, what you believe in and all that stuff, and this book just kind of opened my eyes to how you don't really have to do what anyone else says. It's like, it's definitely more of a personal thing. And it also opened my eyes about animals and everything like that. This book is just, is one of my all time favorites. I love this book so much. Hands down, Marcus Uzak. I would love to spend an entire day with him, drinking coffee and just like hearing him talk and speak and figure out how he came up with such an amazing book, like the book Thief in I Am Messenger. I just would love to, hear his thoughts of how he came up with all of these ideas. Oh my goodness, I think that would be the best. And he seems like such a sweet guy. Mm. One of my biggest pet peeves of books is when the girl, they make the girl so weak and she's whiny. She doesn't do anything with herself. I get so annoyed. I want to punch the girl in the face. I'm sorry, that just got really violent. <laughs> but that's why I didn't like Shatter Me because Juliet, like, I didn't understand like she had this awesome ability and she wasn't using it this guy freaking kidnapped you and you're just gonna sit there and take it I don't understand we need more books with more powerful with more powerful um, female characters because I, I, I can't I can't deal with it no okay so like I said I haven't read very many contemporaries uh, recently but when I was younger I read a lot and I remember really enjoying Ellen Hopkins books um, I read Burn crank crank uh, impulse and glass and I really enjoyed those okay so I got this question a lot what book got me into reading did I read a lot when I was younger stuff like that so when I was younger I read tons I was the girl who like always had a book with her I, I read all the time a lot of people say Harry Potter so got them into reading but I actually didn't start reading Harry Potter until I was like 14 so I was kind of late on that bandwagon but I remember reading um, Good Night Mr. Tom for school. I forget who the author's by again. I remember reading that book and that book just kind of like so good. I don't know. I just felt so many things. I think I even cried when I read it. That book was just so cute and I... Amazing book. Amazing book. Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I 
love this book cover and I love the title. I haven't read it yet. Definitely be reading reading it this year. I don't know why I just love it. It's just so cool and different. Oh, I love this cover. This is yeah. I have not read this book, but I just looked it up and it sounds awesome and crazy. It sounds crazy. Oh my goodness, you guys should look this book up. I don't even I can't even begin to describe this book. But uh good recommendation. I'm definitely adding it to my um to read list right now. Okay guys, that's the end of my question and answer video. I hope it wasn't too long. I don't really know how long it's going to be until I edit it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I answered most of your questions. Thank you guys so much for asking me questions and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!